So the spoils have been shared in the North London derby as Arsenal and Tottenham played out a thrilling 2 all draw earlier today. And here are my full-time thoughts. Starting off with the team selection and Arsenal's goalkeepers are the topic of conversation again. David Raya was given a nod over Aaron Ramsdale for the third successive match. And initially, I thought that Mikel Arteta may opt to rotate between the two game by game. Or at least that's what I thought when Raya was first brought in by the club. And that may still be the case. However, it's starting to look as though Arteta is beginning to favour Raya. Now it's easy to forget just how good both goalkeepers are, but Raya hasn't really put a foot wrong since he's been given a chance. He did have a bit of a tricky moment in the build-up for Son's first goal, where he was almost caught out by a looping ball and parried the ball straight back into danger. But overall, I thought Raya was excellent. He was once again so commanding coming for crosses and looked really, really confident on the ball. And then he made that fantastic Hollywood save to deny Brennan Johnson in the first half as well. Moving on to the visitors, and I think Tottenham deserve a lot of credit for how they played. Hyung Min Son and James Madison were of course Tottenham's main attacking threats going forwards, and I thought there was a really big drop off when they came off the pitch around the 80 minute mark. Two players who really stood out for me though were Jeff Spasuma and Pape Sar in midfield. They tracked back really well and hassled Arsenal's attack to disrupt them going forwards, and I thought they did that really, really effectively. I thought both players were a little bit rash throughout the game, especially Basuma, who actually got yellow card quite needlessly for running over to the referee and reacting poorly, uh, right in his face actually, for a decision that went against Tottenham. But I think that can definitely be put down to the fact that it is a North London derby. I do have to talk about Christian Romero as well though, because it's safe to say he did not have the best of games. Arsenal's first goal heavily deflected off Romero after Saka cut inside on the edge of the box and curled it towards the far corner and in fact that goal has actually been credited to Romero as an own goal. And the Argentine defender was also at fault for Arsenal's second, blocking the ball of his hand inside the box to give away a penalty which Saka subsequently scored to give Arsenal a very very short lead. And that does actually lead on quite nicely to my next talking point which is around Tottenham's second goal. I think Arsenal were ahead for about a minute, give or take, after Saka's penalty. Um, I think it was Jorginho who was easily dispossessed inside his own half. It looked as though the Italian almost got the ball stuck underneath his feet and just couldn't shift it in time. But nevertheless, Spurs were clinical when they got the ball back and it was a really, really good finish by Son. In my opinion, that goal was such a poor one to concede, especially after just going ahead in the game. And I think had Declan Rice been on the pitch at the time, it just wouldn't have happened. Rice was, of course, bought off at half-time alongside Fabio Vieira, which actually really confused me at the time. But Mikel Arteta has come out after the game and said that um, Vieira's substitution was completely tactical. However, Rice was feeling some discomfort in his back for about the first half, so he was took off as a precaution. Obviously, the extent of that injury is still unknown. However, I'm sure that will become apparent when Arsenal have been able to run a few tests on Rice in the next couple of days. Either way, that will be a huge loss for Arsenal if they are to lose Declan Rice, even just for a couple of weeks. You look at some of their upcoming games, they've got tough away games at Bournemouth and Chelsea and obviously that really big game, Manchester City at home in a couple of weeks, which they have to win if they want to compete for the Premier League title this season. Of course, Arsenal do have the likes of Jorginho and Mohamed Elneny to come in. However, it's quite easy to say that neither of those two players are anywhere near the level of Rice. It could have been a very different story for Arsenal had Rice remained on the pitch. However, a draw does feel like the fair result for both sides. Next up for the Gunners is a tough trip to Brentford in the EFL Cup. That's it for my full-time thoughts, Arsenal 2, Tottenham Hotspur 2. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and check back for my reaction to the Brentford game in midweek.